Hi everybody, welcome back to Kid Friendly Videos. If this is the first time you're visiting this channel, we're making custom Pixar cars from the movie Cars. And actually, we did one from Disney Plains. This is actually Dusty. We painted in the same color as Doc Hudson. And we took the bus from Cars 3, Miss Fritter, and please everybody, we painted one half like a zebra and one half like a rainbow. So we got a whole bunch of cars here already done, and I want to show you just a few of them. We did this yesterday live. This is Sig Alert. The link for that is up here somewhere. You can watch the whole video. We made Sig Alert, one of the demolition derby cars. And this is another one we did a few weeks ago. This is the um, All American USA Ramon, red, white, and blue with yellow stars. And this, believe it or not, is Lightning McQueen, dressed up as Cruiser Mirrors in Cars 3. Then we got Fred here. Fred's here because I'm gonna fix up Fred pretty soon. I'm gonna paint him primer first, then give him a nice gold paint job so he look like new. And this is actually Primer Chick Hicks. I made Chick Hicks a while ago and I turned him into Zebra Chick Hicks. But some people didn't like that, so they asked me to do another one in primer, so I did. So he's all set to be done again for another job. And over here we have Roger Springs Dock. Back here we have Transylvania Flow, all set for Halloween. And then we have Zebra, Sir Miles Axelrod, Zebra Mater, and Radiator Springs Mater. And over here we took Lightning McQueen, one of the first ones we did, and turned him into Fabulous Lightning McQueen in honor of Fabulous Doc Hudson from Cars 3. Then we have Rainbow Fillmore, Spider-Man McQueen back here. Scary Lightning for Halloween, he was pretty good. And here we have the Hulk, Primer Mac, the first time in history on Pixar cars, Primer Mac. And some people wanted me to do Thomas Train, so I did Thomas and Percy. Thomas is dressed up as Lightning McQueen number 95, or Thomas McQueen, and Percy is number 95, uh, same color as Mater. I don't know why it's 95 on it. But anyway, okay, over here we have Frank, all set for Halloween. And this is Scary Mater, he was in our Halloween special. He's pretty cool. He was actually a shampoo bottle, it's all fixed up. And back here we have the four delinquent road hazards. Wingo, Boost, Snot Rod, and DJ. I didn't paint them yet, I'm still getting suggestions. But uh, yesterday, after I finished my live stream, someone sent me a message and said I should do Taco from Cars 3 Demolition Derby. Now, they suggested I take a Mater and smash him up and um, make it into Taco. But if you look at Taco's face, I have a picture right here. Taco doesn't look like Mater. So what I did was I went to the dug around our cars and I found Toe Cap. But Toe Cap doesn't quite look like him either. Then I found this car, this truck, I don't know what it is. So. I'm gonna turn this guy into taco. Um, so the first thing I have to do is bend it like that. See, that's gonna be my next big challenge is smash this truck so it looks like that. So I'm gonna put this truck in the vise right now, hit it with a, a hammer and a, a sharp object so it bends it right along here, okay? So let's get the vise out. Okay, I got this truck mounted right in the vise. I'm gonna put this bar right there. I'm gonna see if I can bend the truck without breaking it. Oh my god, that came pretty good. Look, let me do a little bit more. I hope I don't smash it too much. All right, that came perfect. Now let's go back up and, and prime this thing. Okay, let's compare. There is the truck in the picture, and there is my new soon to be taco. So let's get our gray paint out, and first we'll prime this whole thing. But as soon as I get the gray paint out, first thing I'm gonna do is put some headlights back on number 51, which is Lightning McQueen as Cruiser Mirrors. I kind of painted over them yesterday, so I'm gonna put them on first. Okay, like I said, the first thing I'm gonna do is put a couple of headlights on Lightning McQueen with the gray paint. And here's the primer paint right here. This won't take very long, actually, it's pretty easy. There, that looks more like Cruiser Mirrors. Perfect, so now Lightning is dressed up as Cruise. Now, let's get uh, our new soon-to-be taco and paint them primer to get ready for the final paint. Okay, we'll let that dry for a little while and then come back and put on. Okay, we'll let that dry for a bit and then we'll come back and put on the other color paint. Okay, we're back about 15 minutes later. 
the primer is dry. Now I'm going to mix up the paint for the exterior, which is kind of like a, a yellow orange brown combination. Okay, let's come right back with some paint. Okay, I mixed up some yellow, orange, and brown. That looks pretty good. So let's start painting Taco, the color. He is in the Cars 3 movie in the demolition for like a couple of seconds, that's all. And that looks just about right. Just very close color. Watch. Nice. Okay. Now I'll do, I'm going to hold it by the wheels and paint the back. Now I did some videos yesterday live streaming and I would have done this today too live but I had so many coats of paint to put on it would have taken too long to dry. Between um, putting them on and letting them dry I'd be standing there live for like 15 minutes doing nothing so I figured I'd make this video, edit it and upload it. Hope you like it. Um, please hit the like button down there and leave a comment if you have any more suggestions. This one looks like it's going to be fun when I finish with it, with the stripes and everything on it. So that's coming nicely. I think it is anyway, I hope you guys agree. And thanks for everybody for watching these videos. It really helps me out because uh, it's hard to find something unique that, that nobody else is doing. And this is what I found. People, nowhere else on the internet you can find people painting Pixar cars, diecast cars. So it feels really good. And sending in suggestions like this guy said do taco. I never heard of him before. So that was really nice. Thanks very much. Almost done. Lots to do yet though. I'll have to come back a few times. And um, it looks like they painted the windows though too. So I have to paint out the windows. So this is a demolition truck so it doesn't really matter. It's just a piece of junk mostly. Okay, well, I've got my fingerprint right there. Now turn it around, the eyes. Looks like they went right across here with the brown or orange yellow. That's coming nicely, more fingerprints. There, perfect. Now I'm gonna try and put the X on the tires if I can. There's an X, not an X, but a brown stripe. The tires are painted, the wheels are painted brown, and there's a stripe in the tire. And I'll do the other side. That's nice. Okay, now I'll have to put it down to this with the fronts. I guess it's okay to be sloppy when you're doing a demolition vehicle. Not bad. Okay, we'll leave that dry and we'll come back and put the stripes on it. Okay, looking good. Okay, it's just about dry enough. I can actually put the red stripe on the side. So there's my red paint. And I'll try and pick it up without damaging. The paint's not quite dry, but I'll still hold it by the wheels. There we go. Okay, now the red stripe goes right down the side based on this picture. So then I'll just Put that on first, and there's a big square on each door. So I'll just draw a red stripe right down the whole truck. In the back. Oh, that looks kind of wet there, but I think I'll get away with this. Yeah, no problem. And there's a square on the door where the number four goes, so I'll just make a nice big square here. I should be painting real demolition derby trucks. You don't, have to be, you don't have to be perfect or exact. There, there's a square door. And then I'll turn to the side, the other side, and put another red stripe the whole length of the truck. Then I have to come back later with some green dots on it. Almost done. Okay, now to the door, here it goes. Any more red? I don't see at the door. And uh, okay, I'll come back in a little while, let that dry. And we'll put the green dots on the red stripe in the, on the roof. And then we'll see how it looks. Okay, I'm back. The red stripe has dried. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of green in a container here. And 
Where does it go? There, and some black, because there's a little black stripe on it, on the, on the windows. Okay, that's probably too much. So anyway, so, now I'm gonna pick up taco and put some green dots along the side of the truck, just like in the picture. Watch, I'll show you the picture. Okay, here goes. Green dots right here. And all the way along the back. And turn it over. And same thing on the other side. Okay, and some green stripes on the roof. And let's see, uh, not too much more. And then there's a number four on each door. So let's see if I can paint a nice number four on each door. Not very good at the numbers thing. Came better than I thought. Okay, and turn it over. Doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's a demolition car. There. Now I take my other brush and there's some a bit of black on each window. An X I should say. And there's some marks right on the engine hood. They look like dark brown, but I'm gonna use black right there. Okay folks, let's have a look and compare our taco to the taco. The real one. Well, I think we did a pretty good job of making Demolition Derby Taco. It's got the number four, the right color, and he's got those shifty eyes. Watch. I don't know where this truck came from, but it sure came pretty good. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you liked this video of making taco from the Demolition Derby. This is our second Demolition Derby creation, their SIG Alert. If you have any more suggestions, let me know if I can make them. I will try. Thanks for your suggestions. It really makes it worthwhile. And hopefully, everyone has a great day out there and have a good weekend. Bye bye.